ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at perplexity AI versus chat GPT. And we're going to see which one is absolutely going to dominate. So let us jump straight into it. The first thing I want to discuss is the general interface. Now, on the outside, it may look much the same. You've got an area where you are going to be entering in your command. However, you will see, though, that when you tap on ChatGPT's box, nothing actually happens. When you're in Com uh, blah. When you're in perplexities box, you can see here that it gives you already suggested items, right? So this is because you can actually focus your um, command to either search the internet, you can look for academic published papers, you can just do your general writing, which is what ChatGPT is basically doing in over here. And then you can also use the Wolfram Alpha um, uh, community and you can search for YouTube videos and Reddit articles and discussions. So already off the bat perplexity is doing well but let's go a little bit deeper. Let's have a look at a few other features. You can see over here um, I'm using the free version and we will get into the pricing a little bit later but as of the free version for uh, chat GPT it is sort of very limited so I can literally just send text and that's kind of what it can do. Um, with perplexity, I can attach um, images, text, or PDFs, and you get three per day. And this is now in the free version, okay? You also get um, free pro searches, you get five per day. So that really also helps if you're wanting to use a bit of the pro package without um, having to actually purchase the pro package. Let's have a look at how it stacks up with ChatGPT when actually using some chats. So the first thing is over here, I dialed in, tell me more about Perplexity AI. Now, Perplexity AI um, is relatively new. So already ChatGPT is telling me, sorry, I actually don't have that knowledge. So ChatGPT's knowledge is up until January 2022. Now that is a little bit limited in terms of wanting to do um, research on updated um, anything. Going into perplexity, the um, response that I got here was detailed. So the reason I am using the writing is because I am trying to level the playing field and because ChatGPT only has the right um, feature. Uh, in the free version, I've used the right version. Now, if you go ahead and ask that same question, right, we're going to go home and here in this box, you can change it from writing to all, which allows you to also um, gain sources. It searches the web. So this now gives you a whole bunch more than just an answer, as we saw earlier on. So now we've got um, an answer. We also have related queries and then we have some sources which you can actually go ahead and actually explore. It'll open up in a new tab. This is fantastic, but let's have a look at what else we can do here. So having a look at a regular command, um, we're going to use something like explain why popcorn pops to a kid who loves watching it in the microwave. So that is a weird sort of example, but we used it here as well. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to open it up. Now you can see it's relatively limited in chat GPT. They sort of gave me like three to four sort of small paragraphs. And this is more, I want to say, opinion based with not a lot of sort of detail or research into it. Here we're looking at um, a lot more. We've got sources. We've got images from those sources. We've got videos. We've got related queries and you can just continue this chat. So if there's something you don't understand here, you can just continue with this chat. That is also a lovely chat um, feature over here. Again, I'm going to go into just one more and um, having a look at the Wolfram Alpha in JetGPT, you can actually use it as a plugin. So if you go down to your um, profile picture on the bottom left hand side and you go into settings and you um, upgrade to chat um, the GPT-4, you'll actually be able to use the plugin, right? So you can go ahead and 
use the plugin but um, with the free version that perplexity ai is offering you can actually uh, go ahead and use it without having to have any plugin so what i actually did was um, i asked the same question used the same command and i got sources and an answer and in summary, um, it gave me a three point summary, which is fantastic. Then to further understand the concept, I said, give me some examples. And what it literally did was giving me some examples, which is absolutely fantastic. So I can do mathematics, scientific queries, um, nutritional information, uh, graphic, uh, geographical, historical. I mean, there's so much that it has given me. And again, I can carry on this conversation. I'm gonna have a look also at a few other things like the organization here, basically, all you can do with a chat in chat GPT is archive the chat, right? And jumping into perplexity, you can actually create collections and rename um, each one of these chats. So you can have little collections over here. I did cover it fully in another video and you, you can really just organize yourself a little bit better. They also have a discovery tab, which I think is cool. Um, these are trending topics. You can go ahead, tap on any one of them. Okay, and when you tap on them, it'll open that chat and you can now see everything that there is about the chat. It gives you um, some links at the top and it also gives you those images and videos. But this is what's cool. Let's say we're reading through this and we don't understand something about it. We can just go ahead and continue the chat and ask more about the actual um, topic that we're looking at over here. So. ChatGPT doesn't really have that and it's a little bit limited in terms of its functionality. I'm going to jump quickly into the pricing and if you're having a look at perplexity for just $20 a month you can get the pro package. Unlimited pro search AI and model selection, unlimited file uploads, API credits and then also you get um, the opportunity to generate images so if you're going into any one of these um, let's just go into this one over here you can go ahead and generate images with this um, command over here on the right hand side and it's inside of this chat which makes it awesome um, yes um, you you will have the opportunity here, but only in the pro version with ChatGPT. Um, ChatGPT also starts at twenty dollars. You get um, access to the GPT four. You also get to browse, create, and use um, GPTs, and then you get access to additional tools like daily browsing, advanced data, and analysis. So you do get a bunch more with their paid version. But you know, if you're comparing a free version. Um, definitely perplexity AI stands out and because it implements that web search it makes things a whole different ball game altogether um, and just another quick note is that chat GPT cannot search or browse the internet so if you um, for example going and having a look at like um, uh, certain things that you would like links for perplexity will actually give you those links and you'll be able to see where your information is coming from and then the last thing that i want to talk about is when you open a new chat it does say at the bottom chat gpt can make mistakes right and perplexity although if you're going into writing it can also make mistakes however i do believe because there's a built-in search engine your mistakes or your uh, probability of mistakes will be a lot lower what do you guys think leave your opinion in the comment section below what platform do you use which one do you think is better we'll see you next time peace